Alright, this is Mofo See That, and here is the review of Fans Project Warbot Defender, aka Not Springer. So, as you know, if you saw my previous videos, I got this for a hundred dollars over at Anime Expo 2012 ToyArena.com booth. So you go check them out. They have Kamen Rider, they have Gundam, they have Saint Seiya, so Chogokin. They have a lot of stuff. They have a Facebook and a Twitter, so make sure to check those out. ToyArena.com plug-in time. Alright, so here we have the plastic covering. So let's take this off before we start with the packaging. And by the way, the what you're hearing in the background is the Comedy Central Roast of Flavor Flav. Oh shit. And there we have not Springer with this very nice plastic covering over the box itself, which is very good if you want to keep it mint in package. But let's just... It's like a clamshell packaging for clamshell packaging. And look how nice this box is. The grid pattern they use very often an animated style of not Springer ages 16 plus right here mm -hmm. 2010 the copyright then a robot um, armored vehicle and helicopter and so here's some um, what looks to be Japanese and this definitely doesn't look like Chinese to me. Okay. And here it shows you the free state transformer. It's 15 centimeters. A PC ABS plastic. And here it shows you where the die cast parts is. So it's the chest. And what I believe to be part of the shin. So here is a small tab. So let's open this sucker up. Let's show you from the front. Dun 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 dun! And you look from the inside, this is a very nice standard packaging, so. And here we have a nice covering of the clamshell packaging. It's down, just regular match. And then here is the all-important instruction manual, which I will be reviewing later like just before I unbox the rest of this I'll do an in-depth review of the comic book in here because as you all know with fans project they do some pretty damn nice comic book art oh and here's the instructions nice thing they do Whoops, there is it. Here at the back, we have
we have the sword that it comes with. Now it's very flexible, a bit like Drift Sword, but from the reviews, it's like heard that this is it's not gonna break that easily. Mm. Oh, you can do it. So it's just spinning. Woohoo! It's nice. And here is both of his hand blasters, which is pretty nice. Double barrel. And this is the connection joint that, um, for use with one of these action bases. Well, I think you can use it with gun bases. I am not sure. I do not remember. I have to rewatch Vangelis. Vangelis's Vangelis's review. You see about that. Mm. There's a bit more tape, so let's cut that. Cut that. And so opening the nice clam. Oh shit, there's one. Well, we got the run in the front. So the this is very nice clamshell packaging, just easy removal. It's very nice. So this is the end of the unboxing portion. And here we have for the first video, first review of Anime Expo 2012, this is Fans Project Warbot Defender, aka Chug Springer, you guys don't know what Chug is, it's Classics, NK, United, and Generations, so, yeah. And the TV in the background is um, David Letterman. So let's go through what we have here. Oh shit. Okay, so here. So here is the sword. Turns into helicopter blade, very nice. It stores on the back via the pig right here. Here's the port you can use with the Gundam stands. I'll show off in that in the Gundam stands video because I'm doing them more, so I can't really fuck with the packaging. Here's the two pistols, which he can, as you know from Evangelist View. If you haven't watched it, why the hell haven't you? You can actually just. Hoist it up like a gunman. So here is the view of his pistols. So let's talk about well articulation because last four views I did on scourge, rat, scourge, perceptor, cup, and wheel jack. I forgot that. Oi. Alright, but here articulation, foot, up and down movement. There's a bit of ankle articulation. It kind of looks a bit weird. Because the yellow and the gray kind of calls you out to attention. And here you have simple knee movement, you have the thigh swivel, you have the ankle getting all the way around, you can't, there's technically no, technically there isn't, because it can only go from this side, it can't go from this side, and it just, yeah, 
because it's limited by this. And the arms have a lot. This can go 180 unless it hits this part of the die cast. She does often. This can go up and back. This can go foot swivel, bicep swivel. Uh, wrist can go around and it can go in and out. And that's the head easy up, down, and move side to side 180 degrees. And it's a bitch to get him standing because if you look at him from the side and see that is not how shit should work. But although this is the first attempt at a full pledged figure, okay, that's alright. This is the best way to keep it backpack like without having too much kibble in the figure itself, but it's so fucking. What the f. What? And plus, these little fucking tabs, they don't do shit. If you, like, leave on, like, une unlevel, ground will just fucking fall, fall off, so. If I remember correctly, there's, like, something on shape ways that you can do to, like, there's, like, heel add on parts to put in right here to make it stand better. So. The reason. All right. So, the reason I'm showing you the robot mode first, because I'm gonna go by the instructions, because I've been messing around for this in a for a day. So this is gonna be very long, just like my older reviews that I've done for last year's Anime Expo stuff that I bought. So let's start. Let me just... That's... Well, motherfucker. So this is going to be at an angle so I can actually show you what the fuck's going on while looking at the monitor. So hopefully this is wide enough for you guys. So. Alright, so as you know, just pop this down and then just push it up. By the way, the tab for this is fairly easy. To like pop in and out when you're trying to pose him with his arms, especially because one of his arm joints is very goddamn um, tight, so it'll move around with it. So and you bring down, push, push down this the inside chest to accommodate his head, and just push off. Just there. Now that snapping sound. If you hear that, something bad has happened. Don't ever fucking do what I just did. You gotta make sure everything is lined up perfectly. So nothing nothing gets effed up. You bought this for a lot of goddamn money. Right, so it's like this. I'm Because I've been playing around for this a while, I'm going to go quicker than the instructions say you should. But you still should take a good look at this. Because this is a bitch to do. So, these things that were the inside part of his spine slash backpack, you push it out, make the roof, and then you just turn the waist around and see, see on this cross there's this knob, well down, right there, right there, there's a notch, you have to plug that, into here, and that's just a bitch. Every time you have to do this shit, it's just, uh. So it's just, try to do it. It works out your fingers, too. So my fingers hurt really bad, because I've been messing around for, 
for ten times, transforming it into each of its modes. Because it's just a bitch to do. And it's weird, because you don't have any real grip without hurting yourself, because this, this figure is very angular. Angular. So you gotta, there, you gotta pop it in with all your might. Not all your might, you might break the fuck it. But you know what I mean. So for this, you know there's a hint, so we just push it up all the way. This is, this one is a tight ass swivel. This one is very easier. So just keep his, I don't know what the fuck you would call this since, well, Actually, it would be this part of the arm where it connects to the shoulder right here, and it's just above the elbow. I don't know what the fuck you would call it, but you gotta keep it straight with the shoulder and the wheel. All you need to move is basically right above the elbow. You can fuck around with that. So let's see here. So let's do it from this angle. So on the push. The fist down, and you would turn them. Um, actually, let's, let's see what we're doing here. Inward, and then turn out. Alright, I believe. From this way, you have to point the thumbs out towards you, okay, towards you, and then you can just move these inwards, then just push in, push, oh, shit, and push in, and then you need to push all the black swivel piece all the way down, mining the goddamn... You push it forward, you dumbass. Push it forward, and that's how you get it. So basically, it should look like this, alright? So let's do it for the other shoulder, which is a bitch. Get it. Then it should be like this. So basically, here's the edge of here. And if you look inside, you see. That there is this L shaped line with these two fleury notches in it. That's where the piece is gonna go right in here. So, making sure this is still level, you. Actually, I'm wrong. Always have the thumb facing the canisters when you do it like this. Come on, you gonna make this easier on me, boy? So, whenever you plug it in, you have to watch out for this part, because it'll always try to bump against the arm and it'll be a bitch trying to get this in so remember thumb pointing outwards with the canisters it's like this so you can actually put the guns in you could also doing with the front the thumbs facing inward but uh, it just looks because that what it looks like in the instructions so yeah here you go you just Push it in, keep this even. And this, this, the second half, the legs, 
uh, pretty easy for the armored car mode. You just flip it and then fold it. Then making sure that this levels with this, with the arms. So you gotta keep it like that. So if you uncheck, just move it to make sure that it's down all the way. And then for the rest of the half, just pull this, this backpack down. And then here, there's two tabs and two notches. You just plug them in. And there you go. So let's see if this zooms in focusing. So, as the instructions say, you're sp you could you're able to store the sword under here like this, but like most reviewers say, do not recommend because this is a flimsy ass sword. Even if it's very durable, still can be prone to break it because it's a very thin plastic. Plus, I just like to do. So it's fun as hell. Who wouldn't want like, to do something like that? So this doesn't come in handy yet. That's only for the helicopter mode. Guns. Plug into the fist. Now what I like to do, don't plug them in all the way. I like to keep them at where this point is. See where it goes deeper in. I put it right there to make it look more natural and then dun 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 Mr. Rain, would you have would you like this painted in black? Yeah, something like that. Armored car vehicle mode. So this is very, very beefy, but it's still this look better natural like. Okay, you can still see it either way, so... It still retains... the cartoony... character of it, because of the bright green, the different shades, and the yellow, different shades of yellow, remind me of... cell shading. And it's very, very nice, and it's particularly awesome. So, if you look down... You can see what the fuck the robot mode is going to be, but this is very, very nice. This is a very nice design. Everything is compact. There's not a lot of openings except for the back here, but you know, you can't. I mean, you can't fucking help it, so what? Alright, six-wheeled armored tank. So, the next part is going to be the most difficult and the fucking hardest to do because how much pain your hands are going to be in because basically although this the legs they basically are in the same position the arms are going to be totally fucking different totally just pop out the twin pistols again Dual pistols, whatever you want to fucking call them. Just pull out the part and lock it into the backpack position. Just ooh, it already looks different. So just and just pop. You always be careful when you're dealing with the fucking waste, because it's always bitch to do. Ah, okay, I got it. So what you basically want to do, see how there's another tab right in here? That's what you're going to plug in into there, again. 
Um, but when you do it, you find out it's straight out like this, but don't keep it at an angle so it'll go in easier. Like, let's see if I can get this crap on camera, even though it hurts like a bitch. Side maybe. Keep angling it in and then. There you go. Basically, you gotta flip the legs back out and. Let's not fucking worry about this shit right now. So, un pop the arms back out. And just get the hinges back outwards into like a 90 degree angle. Ah, oh, that's a stiff. Shit. Okay. Getting a lot of injured skin here. Alright, so. What you want to do is just push it back into the original arm position and you just fold it in. Fold it in. When that happens, you want to put the fist out like this. Gray facing outward, because that's how it's going to look when you put it inside it again. Then you just turn it around. And then for this, you just pop this part back up. Back up. Oh shit, what did I do? Gotta keep this angled at a good degree, which I do not have it on at a good degree. What the fuck? fuck. Here we go. Here we go. And then you push it downwards. And see this L shape? Right here? That's gonna attach. Attach right here at this L shape. And you just align it and plug it in. Just align and plug it in like that. And then do the same thing for the side. You, you push the goddamn thing in. Ah, oh, shit. Then you plug this in. And for the feet, it's kind of tricky because you have to. Open this out while you're pushing this in, so it's gonna be like get everything lined together. And for the tab right here, it goes into the second one right, right there. Second one right there, right next to the arm. Go right there, but you have to be careful because the arm tends to pop out with it, so. Be careful not shit. So I'm not pushing it on the way yet. Pull out the die cast part. Fit it back together. And there's a clip right here. Clip it. Clip. There we go. And you tap the feet in. And I'm gonna fix it off camera. So I can see it better and natural. Not natural, this ain't natural, this is a night at the electric artificial lights. Uh. And then, final step, just push the front wheels out. Then, then you can 
take this out, plug it in, and then for the guns, you have to plug it in an downward angle like this. And I'm running out of minutes because I've gone way over 24 minutes. I'm close to that. So, when you attach the Gundam stand with this, see this? With the square blocks where these, this used to tab in, you slide it in there, and that's how you get your balance. Now, this helicopter is very interesting because. It's like a parachute, it's not a regular helicopter, but if you look at the, for the front and the side, it's more aerodynamic. So I'm going to put this down, I'm going to turn the camera off, I'm going to wash my hands, because they're very blistery. There's a lot of dead skin on it. I'll change out the memory card, and I'll give final thoughts for this, and maybe just get if my hands are feeling okay after. To... One. Okay, so I'm back. My fingers still kind of hurt, but now here is the easy part. So instead of doing my usual skits, I'll just give my final thoughts on these, because these I don't get to handle something like this very often, you know. So let me get this gun. So, first, give my final thoughts, so I'm going to transform back to robot mode. And it'll be easiest to do from the helicopter mode, because it has the most parts in common. Um, oh, that freaking die-cast metal is still very nice. Because from here and these, it'll be the easiest to do. So first, just do that. Like, break the goddamn thing in half. But take out the sword. Just put it, just put it back in the sword. And, the guns! Now the easiest thing would just... Oy vey. Then it's just flip around, then push, and then this, because you don't you don't plug anything in. The lower body's just hanging there. With this, since the hinge is already down, you can just Unfold the arm. Like this. Because because the way you move the hands, they're already in position to move back. And that's the beginning of Craig Ferguson, The Late Late Show. In the, in the other part, that was like the last hour and a half of David Letterman, so. And here you see these roof panels again, the little vents on them. See, see, and you see those tabs where this fed in, oh shit. Well, right here, right here. No, right here in the first slot, that's where it'll fit in. There. And then, oh yeah, for the backpack, just put the backpack open, fold this back in, just re plug it back in, make it flush. And pop this, pop that, and then push this back in to make the rest of the chest, push it back in. Woohoo, you're done, buddy boy! And then, sword. Just, alright, so, it'll sit 
right down here. So when it gets down here, you know it's in there securely. And this is another way on how you can put in the freaking pistols. And so I'm gonna turn off the camera, enjoy the rest of the monologue, and then give you my final thoughts. All right, now my camera is back in its regular position and it's a tripod. So here are my final thoughts for. Not Springer. He is a great figure. He's fantastic. He, but I recommend some repro labels and maybe that Shapeways heel add-on to help him. But overall, this is a pretty good figure despite the difficulty of transformation, but seeing how this was fans' project's first full-on figure and that they've improved since then, um, right at, okay. that they, they definitely have improved over the last two years since this was first made and yeah, you should definitely pick it up as a collector's item like um, the Kamen Rider SIC figures They're, it's more posing than playability um, unless you want to sh toughen up your fingers, which I always want to do. Guess might as well, because my fingertips are already kind of fucked up. Play with them, and at least, if you play with them long enough, joints will wear down the right way. So you don't wake up one day, pick them off on the desk and find out that the die cast on both sides of his legs fucked up the knees. And I, I really like the die cast in the chest area and both the tail parts and they, they, they keep cool even if even in the hot weather. Although that was induced by no one opening the goddamn windows in the house. But still cool to touch, very nice. This is probably gonna be one of the longest reviews yet because I'm I'm combining the first two parts of this right now and it's over it's 31 minutes right now and ah uh, shit well it's too damn long okay so all right so I need to transfer my old video files to... Alright, so... No, let's not talk about it. So, this is the end of my first review of... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 8... Okay, so this is the first of 9 reviews, so... This this review would will be in my toy review playlist, uh, Teenagers Toy Box, and also in my Anime Expo 2012 playlist. So be on the lookout for both those playlists because I will be adding in new stuff along the way. This is Mofo. See that? See you in another video.